How's it going? I'm Jay P, I'm a full-time reseller and today we are going to a few towns have a look around, see what we can get uh, the town's not too far away, it's like 35 minutes away, stuff like that and so, yeah, we're just going to have a good day I think So we just arrived at the first spot. The town's a bit further down the road, so I thought I'd start here and work my way up. So yeah, let's do it. Look at that. That's a deal smock. Yeah. More probably is that's like it's like ten pounds though, isn't it? I don't think it's worth ten pounds to be honest. Nice though. Pretty decent now. That's a bit too cracked though. Is it being for like a washing machine or something? Hmm, I'm not too sure. I don't see any. Oh. There's no price in this. These are beautiful jackets. This is a Keeler jacket. What up, love? He just came over. We've got a Keeler! We've got a keeler! So these are the ones that the police get issued with. So yeah, you can tell, look, you can, it's got the epaulets here, so this is like an emergency services one. You get like the, uh, you put like the shoulder epaulets on there. It's a really nice one. I'm going to have to find out how much that is. Oh, jewels. See, I would have picked this up, but it's like 15 quid, so. You can get about maybe like forty pound for it, but it's too much investment into one thing for such a little profit. Let's see how much this coat cost. Hey, can you find out how much this is, please? Because it ain't got a price tag on it anyway. I don't think. I've done a quick scan around it, but is it eight pound for that. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thank you. Ciao, lovely. Thank you. See you now. So, those ones are really good. They can go for about 80, 90 pounds, stuff like that. So, eight pound, not a bad start, really. So, yeah, let's uh, crack on. Let's have a look at what we can find in here. So, this is like something that you pick up with fat face. It's like that nice, washed kind of look to it, half zip. The thing is about fat face, it's quite um, saturated. So, it can take a long time to sell, so I'm trying to pick the double XLs and stuff like that because they're harder to find. So this one's going to be left for today. Mm, let's see what that's nice. Nice gant jumper. It's medium. Look at that. Banging hole. No, why did I not mention it on here? Cheeky. So with diesel jeans, you always look at the name here, and these are the Darren's. Now these are five pound, but they tend to want to go for like 20, 25 pound or something. So I'm not the biggest fan of them. And obviously with jeans and stuff, they get sent back a lot. So you want to be good. And I didn't even notice that. There's a big rip here. So probably leave them. However, I did find these over here. These are the Thomas. Thomas. I, I don't know how to say my THs. So I apologize. So that's a 32, 34, three pound 50. Absolute beauty. Look at that. They will do nicely, like the, these are the ones which you want to look for. These are some skinny ones, it tends to be the skinny ones which do quite well. So, the diesel former, I look for the other ones as well. There's like loads of them, but these ones will get you a nice price. So, just hitting up this rail, and I found this Grayley piece. Look at that little nighting. That's got a bit of a mark here, but I'm going to see if I can get that out. That's got a bit of a hole here. Ah, gutted. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave that one. Two pound fifty. Yeah, it's got a hole in it. Can't really do anything with that. But look at this. Looks nothing to most people, but check the check the old uh, tag here. All the bar brown. You'll see the comps in a minute. This is an absolute find. Beautiful. Oh, we've got another one and another one. Look at that. AMI. Hey, these guys are not messing about. 
think that does it. Just these three, I don't think there's anything after here, so let's get out of here. Oh, it's here. I thought I lost it then, fucking heck. Anyway, so this is Alexandra Matuisi, Matuisi? I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but this AMI, big brand, French, all good. Oh, this is very nice. Look at that, just Cavalli. So there's a Cavalli by itself, but I think that's a cheap one, so they call this one just called. This is the more expensive one. Got all those buttons there. This is quite a new one. You can tell by the EAC there, that's like, um, just means like the European standard, it's met all those standards and stuff. But these can do not too bad. And it's five pound, I think. I think it is anyway. It says, does it say 20? Oh, I'm not sure. We'll find out very soon though. Ooh, nice one. Beautiful bit of rab. I love a bit of rab. Rab's always very, very popular. Cannot complain with that. So I'm guessing this is like a, um, a donated one from the actual rab store. They like chop bits out and stuff like that. So it's probably brand new. How much is everything? Two pounds. Two pounds, yeah? yeah? Nice one. Thank you. Salut. Thank you. See you now. I don't think Tommy spellouts do very well anymore. And this is like a really brand new one as well. So how much have you got on here? Fiverr? No, they don't do, they don't do like they used to at all. So where am I put? This is a big one. Let me show you this one. Mosquito, 15 pound. What a wound. So 15 pounds. So my, my kind of rule is I times everything by five. And if I can't get to uh, can't get to that amount very easily, then I tend to leave it. So this will be like what 75. I'll have to check that in a bit to see. I can't get the signal. So if I can get to 75 easily with this, then I will buy it. But I don't think I will be able to. So with those Moschino shirts, like I said before, the highest I need to get to is about 75 easily. And even brand new, we're not going to get there. The closest thing I found was this one here. Similar, obviously not the same, but that's 65. So not a bad little town. Only got a few bits, but it's actually all right to be fair still. We're going to go to this new town. I've been there for like three years or something like that. So I think that'll be a good one. I'm not sure because it used to get hammered all the time by Wolves Reseller, so I'm gonna have a look and see if it's gonna be decent. So, yeah, let's have a look. Ooh, got the Castelli cycling shirt. Should be alright. Polyester, whatever. It's all good. It's quite nice, isn't it? What's that in there? A little bit of hay on someone's little travels, I guess. Not bad. Ooh, these here, the classic 574s. These aren't too bad to be These do quite well, actually. What's the wear like? Mm, a little bit of wear there, not too bad. A little bit of dirt, but we can clean that. Yeah, it don't seem to be in bad nick at all. Nice little pole and shark shirt. There's a plain one there, 35 quid. 35 quid. Stripey one. You know what? I'm gonna take it. It should do well. It'll do alright, 35 quid. I think I think in here everything's like a couple of quid, so. Yeah, we'll take it. Six fifty, darling, please. Cheers, look. Uh, can I pay a card? You can. You're just going to take me angles. <laughs> just wiping them. You have to do it over all day. <laughs> oh, somebody understands. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, like, got some absolute bangers. That was £6.50 for all three of them. 
yo one of them things go for about 45 quid 50 quid so that is some easy easy money man right we just got here i'll pay for some parking let me get the quids out right okay so i remember there's an american reseller who was talking about these levi strauss signature jeans now apparently these ones are of less quality so don't make as much money and that's always stuck with me i think i heard that a couple of years ago i can't remember who it was now i can't remember who it was but yeah if i can find them i'll find out you know so we've got the another saint giles here but around the corner just scope so i like to go to the one furthest away if i went way back or do you like to go in and not miss something i don't know either way i've always done it like this just to leave me a nice little treat on the way home hugo boss slim fit look at that collar a bit dead out into it it's four pound but it's got that meatloaf thing going on, so I'm just going to leave that one. So, so. This is a nice one. Alpha Industries. Ooh, £15. See, this could still be worth it, though. This could still be worth it. Normally, it tells you what it is on the inside. Yes. Extreme weather. Exactly the same one. Exactly the same one. Yeah. 106. Yeah, yeah. Real good. <laughs> Cheers, boss. Lovely. Thank you, mate. Have a lovely day. See you now. Take care. Thank you. So these mayor trousers, they always seem to do quite well with them. Especially with these bigger sizes. Waist 36. It's quite, I think it is now 30 as well. They haven't been taken up or anything. So it's got quite nice though, because I've got like, this random zip on the inside here. So you got a zip inside the pocket. So basically we're in a pair of trackies but being formal at the same time. That's 350 pounds, Yeah, that's all right, yeah. <laughs> anything good. Anything, anything not to get the promotion. <laughs> that's it. Well, you know where it no, is it's this. Let's see, that's this. Yeah. Oh, nice, isn't it? I'm not winding it right up. Five pound, yeah? Yeah. You know, I might take it now. Really? Yeah. He's selling um, stuff, he's upselling. I'll tell you he's good. He's good, he's upselling, he didn't even try, did he? I'm gonna take this as well, yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna believe it, but there's a woman down there, she said, hang on to her, I'll pick it up on the way back. But you I'll sell it to the first one. Can I take one. it, yeah? Of course you can. Cheers, well, thank you. nice bit so let me show you what these are it was eight pound but i'm pretty chuffed with it it's a nike like storm fit um england manager's coat really nice definitely do all right that one and uh these emu australia they're like basically like ugg boots um but they're like sheepskin obviously well, uggs are sheepskin as well but these like obviously all leather around but it's like sheepskin ones i don't they're not brand new in box but they are in box if you know what i mean so they cost me 15 pounds so i'm not too fussed obviously at times buy five that's like 35 they easily go for like 89 pounds so chuff with that especially because they're in box as well so yeah really good okay next place Ooh, nice. 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 Look at that nice i think it might be vintage the label looks vintage but it's a rock Okay, so similar traditional fit. This went for about forty-seven pound actually. Lots from Ukraine. See, there you go, shami cloth, shami cloth. Heavy shirt, forty quid. Yeah, that should be okay. Oh, that's cool. Old school Adidas fleece. I think these are like made in. I'm not sure where these made, but that is nice. I am tempted to keep this for myself. That is really nice. I've never seen an Adidas for this before. Obviously, I showed you these already, but the LL Bean shirt. Come here, where are you? Nice vintage label there, made in Salvador. XL. It's like a heavy canvas shirt, so these do really well. The thick, heavy ones like these ones, and there's like a chamois cloth one, which is like dead nice feeling it literally you can buff your car with it don't make it fit anyway this one dead nice um this should go for about 40 pound 
oh yeah, and the size is XL as well so because it's like American XL it's probably more like a 2XL and then this thing here wow Adidas fleece I have never seen Adidas fleece before and this is like I think this is the early 2000s if not 90s logo I'm not too sure but I always see when you see all this kind of stuff going on you know it's not um, obviously it's not brand new and like I always tell people if I, get here, I always tell people if you look under here if there's no label under here then it's probably made pre-2000 so this probably means then this is like obviously older than 2000 if not around that kind of era so really nice adidas fleece absolutely i've not even checked the comps yet i just snatched it up because i might actually just keep it for myself to be honest because i love my adidas stuff obviously i'm wearing my, my crepes right now beautiful stuff but anyway this should go really nicely I, if I've never seen it, obviously I go in so many shops and I look on so many vintage wholesale places and you hardly ever find like an Adidas fleece. So someone's going to want this very quickly. And so I think this will go quite nicely. One more shot. One more shot. I promise. One more shot. That's it. Finally made it to the last place for the day. We're going to go in, have a quick look, see what we can find. And then we're going to head off home and tot up what we've got. And hopefully we've made a pretty much deep, oh, well not made a decent profit, but hopefully we've got a potential decent profit there. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I saw one of these before. This is a Gantt wind cheater. Eight pounds. So, let me just check this out. XL, nice size. Sleeves don't look too battered. Look all right, to be fair. That's been worn like, but that's not bad at all. Eight pound, so. Uh, I hate when I say that, I sold a seed. It means there's like probably like a humongous hole in it somewhere. But so far, it looks pretty good. What's this in? British walnut shell. It's nice, but I'm guessing it's just a, a plain wool thing. British wool naturally. I can always have a look. British wool naturally. Oh, there it is. There you go, there's one. Is that the same thing? Obviously, no zip, but still went for like £37. Pound. Shooting jumper. You know, I like my shooting stuff. Fiver. I think that'll be good. Cheers, dude. Thank you. Right. Yeah, my car's there. Right. Cheers, boss. So these can go for like 50, 60 quid. So, I mean, not bad. I think this all it needs is a bit of a wash and it will be good to go. It's been a couple of days. I've just not had a chance to kind of properly look through it, but I have totted it all up and put it on my inventory system. So, it looks like it's gonna be a good one, to be honest. It's gonna look really good. But this was my favorite one, I think, to be honest. The reason why I liked it so much, it's not like it was like the most valuable one. It's just, I feel like it's the best craftsmanship. And it's one of them like, you catch people slipping with that one. Like charity shops, obviously they know a lot about all the brands and stuff. So your responsibility is to try and find the stuff which they just seem to miss out on. Do you know what I mean? Like mislabel or price, undervalue, all that kind of stuff. So that was my favorite one because I feel like this one would have been missed by lots of people and it wouldn't have been appreciated. So yeah. I love it, just really nice. So yeah, in total, we picked up 20 items altogether for that day. Uh, we spent 96 pound and it's looking like the potential profit is looking at about 700 to 800 pounds. So thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate all of you watching it and leaving likes and subscribing and stuff like that. It's like really helping the channel out. So yeah, if you found this one beneficial, please like it, please leave a comment if you wanna do and subscribe to the channel because I'm always doing videos like this. I'm always trying to improve the videos and just try and show the best things. So thanks again for watching and I'll be back here next week hopefully. So I'll see you all again next week.